Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the trendiest entertainment stories. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my crew, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Hey, Carol, what's good? Hey, I'm good. Hey. How are you? What did you eat last night? Say, I drink Carol this morning. Um, I don't know. Did I have dinner last night? No. I have didn't. you had breakfast? Yes. What did you have? This That's my words. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have? Good food. Okay. okay. Interesting. I can't help the brand, so, you know. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. All right. There's no way I could talk about the food without talking about the brand, because mm. it's a special, you know. I had to just give a shout out. Why so stingy? But moving on, pain. Justin Bieber <laughs> reveals plans for comeback in the new year. He announced that he will release a new single on the 3rd of January 2020. He also revealed he is to tour US and um, his home nation between May and September and will be appearing in a new documentary TV series. Bieber took an extended break from music in 2017 after cancelling the last 14 dates of his purpose world tall mm. okay i like how he has a year planned out already like mm. that's interesting i like the way he's gotten himself back together because at, as at that 2017 that mm -hmm. um he cancelled his tours and all of that he was at a point in his life where he was mm. kind of losing it and uh, i like the fact that he found god and um he's been able to guide himself oh he went back, back to god yeah, he went back to God because. Uh, <laughs> well, in his words, he found God. Yeah, he found God. He's always been in church, basically. Yeah, basically, yeah, everyone. You can be in church and not find God. Hope yeah, you know. Now you can oh. tell that he's yeah. a grown man. Yeah. And he's doing better, and then so I'm actually looking forward to Justin Bieber's 2020 with the docu series, his album, mm. you know, Yummy. Let's see what all that brings. I mean, I'm sure it's not just you that is looking forward to 2020 cause of Justin Bieber because it's somebody that his music bring happiness and light to a lot of people. I just hope that right now he's saving a little magic for himself this year because I think the problem with him is that he's a little bit... Uh, fame is difficult for him to handle. Mm -hmm. and I think that's one of his problems. But maybe, like he first said, he has gotten to a comfortable area that he feels, okay, now whatever comes with the fame and all of that, he will be able to undo him. I just want to see him happy. Mm. If doing music is what's going to give him happiness and putting, it, putting himself in the spotlight is what brings him happiness, then he should do it. But if not, he, should, he can still have um, this time continue and the break. continue the break. Mm. Yes. What's that thing they call his fans? Believers, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure they're happy and expecting it. Talking about finding your soulmate and making time for each other, veteran comedian Ali Baba has weighed in on the conversation. He shared an image on his Instagram page which says, if a person understands the reason for why you can't spend time with them, trust me, you have found someone who understands you like no one else. End of quote. He went on to explain with his caption that this is to all those who says your partner can never be too busy until the table turns. Mm. I, don't hey, know. <laughs> I feel like you should start ladies, this yeah. one. Uh, I said, I think this is more for the ladies. Why? I mean, uh, it doesn't matter okay. if you're male or female. Okay, maybe it's, just... it's not applicable to you girls because you're career women. You get me, but a lot of women that are not career women out mm. there believe that, okay, the man who is out there to grind has to be available at their beck and call and all of that. So they see it as when you make excuses they they see when you tell them you can't see them that you're making excuses they tell you you can't be too busy somebody any no, anyone that wants to see you will make time yeah, for you i've had that i've heard that phrase but, but i don't think I don't, I don't think there's anything that phrase is not wrong if you really like somebody if your heart is with somebody mm. you can't be too busy for them that's the honest truth mm. Go, let's talk about bill gates let's talk about powerful men that are still always find obama let's talk about obama as um, as busy as he was then he still yeah, find yeah, time for this, family this okay so the, the whole, yeah that was what calling. i was going to say the names you're calling is not realistic talking about your regular because people, these people have sure. gotten to a point where they can direct their time they can decide they can even give I instructions and they will get and the job done people follow it right but then there, i still get what you're saying because there's also a conscious effort to put your partner in the picture mm. but there are times in people's life when that time is not just there it's is the problem is maybe when they don't put an extra mm. effort but there are people that even with the extra effort mm. they can't see you more than once a week now this is the people for they are not married though basically like i mean if the you're living with someone work, you will like, see the person okay i think we're restricting this whole thing to 
seeing the person. Being busy, like if you're saying um, you don't have time for somebody, does not mean that you have to see them all oh, the time. Or all that. That. I mean, like you. That. I'm not, I'm not saying there are not people like that. Phone calls, I'm yet text email, messages text and all of that. You really, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be physically present, present every time, time or true. the person has to be your handbag mm -hmm. or something. But basically, little, that five seconds that you're free, mm -hmm. if your mind is with somebody, I mean, I've been I've been in love with someone and I know that even when I'm very busy that I just have like five seconds to reply that person. All I was like, okay, I'm busy, I'll just text you when I'm done. You know, the mm. person will just know that okay, yeah, I know that this person is for a lot of people. Thank you. Exactly. That's not enough for a lot, a lot of people. So you're just seeing it from busy. your own perspective. And I get that perspective. Like I can be the most understanding person on earth. So sometimes I feel like I'm too understanding because mm. I, I'm, I have a lot on my plate also, and when is that little time and you feel like, oh, I don't have time, I can really understand it. But there are people who don't understand it at all because they have enough time and their job also gives them enough time. So imagine someone who is working where they are swamped mm. and then you are probably even making more money and you have more time to yourself. It happens. So it might be difficult for you to understand that this well, person For me, at the end of the day, that's why I feel you should find somebody that just Understands. suits you and mm -hmm. understand you. If if somebody wants to be Which with somebody that wants saying, all the attention, no, Alibaba is saying that people that say all those things like, um, um, if your partner is busy, they mm. don't like you or stuff like that. I mean, it, I can feel that way, mm. and it's okay. That's, like that's how you can deal with that. Somebody that. Till the tables turn. Yeah, that when you need to understand that Alibaba is talking busy. from a wealth of experience. This is a man that has been in relationships, and now he's in, should I say, in his best relationship right well, now, right? Well, for me, I And he's married to a woman that is doing a job that is demanding. He is also doing jobs that are demanding. So I think for that's why there's from, a balance for them. For me, you I just as for me, I just for feel some, like nobody nobody makes balance. this rules. In most cases, what though, works for you works for you. Mm -hmm. In most cases, I believe that um, trust issues also comes to play. Yeah. Because um, if a guy keeps telling you I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, a lot of women will start thinking mm. something else. But sometimes like, they're truly not busy. Okay. On that note, <laughs> no, but if is actually right, sometimes yeah, people will just saying, say that. Yeah. But there are times they're they are not busy. That's what I'm saying. So when the, I, I busy becomes way too much and you can't handle it, we all have our threshold. So some can be a busy for but one some week. Some can be at the end of the day, months. this post is saying you're not understanding. If you can't take it anymore, you, sh you need to understand. Okay, well, that's on. why it's about finding your soulmate. It's mm -hmm. not for exactly. finding your boyfriend or your girlfriend Thank or you. your. It's yeah. your soulmate. Somebody that wants to really be with you and spend the rest of their life with you, mm -hmm. who accepts you for all your flaws. Yeah, the person will take time to around. understand what your day to day activities yeah. is all that's about. Right for and, me. and you know what? I, I, I don't believe in so all these rules. What it's, works it's, for people says are just a different. relationship is one sided. If I'm too busy, drop by. How about that? If I drop by where? <laughs> okay. the, let's not even go there because that's like a new conversation and it will not end. So you drop. can go visit your man at work? <laughs> go it's time for a quick break. <laughs> but when we come back, it's drama between Simi and a Twitter influencer. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I'm now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo. Sleeping early, sleeping early.
Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So there's an ongoing drama on Twitter as Nigerian singer Simi drags Twitter influencer Mazi Bey. So this is what happened. Mazi Bey had made the singer the center of his jokes in the past and she blocked him as a result. However, Mazi's Twitter handle got suspended recently and shortly after he went back um, online with a backup account and thereby could see Tim Simi's tweet. He quoted her Merry Christmas tweet saying, the good side of my suspension is I get to see your tweets. Feels good after how many years, end of quote. Then Mazi tweeted again saying, see me and EFCC, the greatest influencers of the year 2019. They gave us Naira Mali. He also retweeted a tweet which says, deep down, see me, deep down, see me's heart, she won't turn Malian, but let me not talk. <laughs> he tweet, um, his tweet definitely angered Simi and she fired back saying, and I dare you at, at IP's vodka to never talk about me again unless you are obsessed or I am really bringing you that influencer money because I'm just a little girl minding my own or next time you see me outside, come to me and speak your mind. She went on to say, let's talk woman to child. <laughs> Instead of you sneaking, taking pictures of me, looking for laughs on social media, big boy, you gawky internet bully, Twitter warrior, I dare you to dislike me enough to pretend I don't exist. Shoot it, boy. And she went on to block him again. Uh, I, like I dare you to dislike me enough not to, I mean, to act like I don't exist. You can't keep pressuring people like she blocked you you know what that means i don't want you to see anything about me and i do not want to see anything about you just stay away from me because it's very consistent that you keep trolling now and it's not right in any way mm. come on imagine you just got unblocked you could see her tweet and see all the things he's saying for me it doesn't make sense and it's way too petty for a grown-up man come but on. i have to give it up for I'm not, I'm not saying I'm in support of um, him trolling Simi, mm -hmm. but he stated an obvious fact. He stated the obvious. No, the, no, 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 hold on. No, no, hold on. No, go ahead, go the ahead. But it's not new gist now. Obvious, Everybody no, knows. This the obvious way. Way. You guys don't even know the obvious I'm saying. But go ahead, go ahead. The obvious I'm saying is that EFCC and Simi are the greatest influencers of 2019. They gave us Naira Mali. Do you understand? But... <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know what's so exciting about it. But, but he overstepped his bounds mm -hmm. and he said, see me really want Tom Malian. Deep down. Deep down. No, no, but, he didn't you know, say that. He retweeted it from someone. It was not his you, yeah, 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 but the fact that he retweeted it exactly. is like still an, is like yeah, an yeah. endorsement for that. So um, I really don't like that fact that and if you look i ch checked the thread mm. and it's since 2017 people started pulling out his tweets mm -hmm. where he's been um trolling see me for a long time and this is the same guy that got really pissed when he said his wife looked like mm. Bob Whiskey. do you understand and mm. um they said um the internet went agog over that because um he wasn't happy they compared his wife they to gave Bob him Whiskey. a dose and then he had a dick mm. Mm. Uh, you know so um well obviously from his name you can tell what's wrong with him he pisses vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Someone even said the simi vodka that he had to, she had to be pissed that much. Uh -uh. But I mean, she um, has every me, right to be pissed. I feel like um, this pain is coming from the fact that Ibe has influence on Twitter. And, and I think they have a one-on-one. Both one, of them, yeah. they've not had a one-on-one, I don't think so. But, but what's so where's the sneaking so and taking things, pictures of me? Yeah, he even asked because he, he apologized mm, and he uh, said... Yeah. But, but that's sneaking get, and taking picture. That's I don't why I understand believe it. That's they, the look, we don't I'm get. sure Simi must know this guy. Even Somewhere. if they don't, yeah, maybe, maybe they've not what even met. What if the met. guy is stalking her? What yeah, if? Maybe they've not even met. I'm but sure <laughs> Simi is not the type of person to come online and say what is not true or something that is just jargons. I mean, she's, and a lot of people she's somebody now, that is just not going to type nonsense. No. For me, on this case, Twitter is not for the faith hearted. Well, no, Twitter is not for the fans that they are not encouraging. I'm not encouraging you to be right. And you, it sounds you like this. Like I, like, I feel like we need to. How is she looking? Like? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need to understand when someone well, is deliberately sleep. going out to. Yeah, he said that in his apology. And when that. someone is just making a bant on a trending conversation. Most so. of the things I saw. They were all usual bands from normal conversation, which I can say, if you oh, go to my oh. own tweet, hold on. By the way, people, wait, 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 let me just tell them this before you go on so that they can see where you're coming from. She's a very close friend to Mazi B. No, I don't like that. I'm not being eh? sentimental. So you're not I being don't sentimental. Like that. I'm just analyzing it the way I see it. And because mm. I understand Twitter, and I've been on Twitter for a very long time. So if you bring any other celebrity mm. and look for that celebrities that have had 
um trendy conversations around them on twitter and all that and look for maybe search for ebay streets you will definitely see something mm. he has said about those people and yeah, that's why they're calling him an not internet really... bully that is not it's not just i mean this is not even about i was going to say that this is not even about simi because a lot of people came out to testify that, that this now guy that is actually blocked, he he had that, a new account yeah he's people said to... he agrees that account new because account. he was he bullying the people thing, the good thing is i was able to see her tweet after being blocked for years that was all he said it's getting hot in here. Can and then you on? said, oh, see me and EFCC, blah, blah, blah. And these are opinions that I've heard even before he tweeted it. I've heard it from so many people. So for Simi to be angry, of course she can because I can't tell her what she should be angry about. But it's because she also has, he also has a level of influence that mm. if an irregular person tweets it, it might not have an effect. But if I, an eBay tweets it, it's going to be a big deal, which is why she has the right to feel offended. That's why I said but Simi, this Simi is knows not this new. guy. And whatever, I think because she said influencer something, something, something. You know, she I mean, even I don't think there's a personal beef because if this imagine that on personal. your instagram account somebody comes on your um page every time and is commenting ha your shoe hey <laughs> you get saying putting negative stuff What's even if it's just though? i'm just saying <laughs> god <laughs> You get Thank or God liking all the negative comments on your page, yeah. and then you, you notice that you blocked that person, mm -hmm. and then something happened. The person was able to see your post, mm -hmm. and then immediately the person is like, "Oh, finally, I'm out of my cage, Joe. If uh, you're this, you're this, you're this, you're this. liking, keep liking negative comments. How would that make you feel?" Hey, you, but that's what happened. That's like just an <laughs> English take on that's, that, right No, now. that's that's what no, happened. That's what happened. That's anyway, what happened. He has been trolling now. She blocked him, mm -hmm. he That's got unblocked, and he continued what he has trolling, been doing. Yeah. Which is what I'm saying. That you need wrong. to define what trolling is. What exactly is trolling? But like trolling? you rightly said, um, Twitter is not Please for the faint hearted. Go and yeah. read everything. Twitter is not for the faint hearted, but let's not about, encourage people um, bullying other was people. About, oh, That's uh, that's how I feel about it. You okay, do you want to say then, you do not have an opinion on Simi's dressing at the time? Even till now. <sighs> So what is the point? Well, Even to now. Okay, let's just move but on. I won't go Even online. if you have an opinion, keep, go God bless you, keep it to yourself. To go talk about it. Well, keep it I to believe you're Simi, not buying, you're not clothing her, you're not about, giving her money to buy Simi, anything. She was on Simi bigger looks blogs so that good. even had a conversation Simi with. looks so good. She has a perfect stature. She has, she looks yes. good. Do you understand? So, mm -hmm. and she dresses according to her body. That's the way I see it. And she dresses according to how she wants to dress. But this is a copper Debbie Rice. That one with the dungarees and the... If uh, you are just too mounted on this page, you know, this yes, like, please let's yes. move on. What's move this? On the okay, she said she was wearing a necklace gold clothes. Whatever there. she's wearing is nobody's business. I like as that long as you don't clothes. The necklace gold sub, though. There was a subtle sub. Yeah. I don't know if you. I I, I don't that know if that was a sub, get. but it came out at the wrong time. But that tweet felt like it was it was subbing his a, wife. Yeah, that was how I felt. I felt so. So too. I, I think I'm too mounted. Well, well, for me, for me, I don't. I don't think God would never sub his wife, oh. so I didn't even feel well, like that. Well, that was how that. It said the older you get, so uh, you guys, uh, you yeah, so you don't into, get yeah. into. So like, I think he's talking about himself, like he does not want to get himself involved in this. It is still thing. who is in the matter. It's not the wife. It's not about his wife. He's talking to the other guy. You guys should not make this thing look so negative about the couple. Okay, so Mazi. He has apologized. Can I say you apologize? Um, he has apologized. You have apologized, so but can you leave our dear Simi alone? She's in the news again. He will tweet so. It should not. It should anyway, not. It should stay let's there move now. on. I'm not sure of who is dragging Nina in the Big Brother Niger marriage conversation, but she's not having it. She said, and I quote, I don't get why uh, my name is being mentioned in the whole Big Brother Niger marriage thing. Must I marry a Big Brother housemate? I bet you all aren't ready for me, though. And of what? <clears throat> okay, so Gideoni and Kafi got engaged recently, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Teddy and Bam Bam are married. There's ooh, rumor, ooh. There are rumors. We have not, we've not confirmed the marriage between Ike and Mercy. Oh. No, 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 it was a music so, video. Yeah. Ah, so, okay, but then the relationship is still ongoing, right? We believe so. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> we believe so. <laughs> okay, let me close my mouth because it's like nothing is real anymore. Moving on. Mm -hmm. mm. But who is trolling harder? Well, I don't think, for me, I didn't see anybody trolling Nina. And mm. I felt like, Nina, let these people just have this moment so you guys to are not themselves. Ready for, for what? For our next move now. Maybe she's going to show up and go to you. No, no, I think the not we're not ready for her is that she's going to keep coming for anybody that is coming for her. Because no, I don't think so. Lately, like, she has been replying so everybody. No, no, I think what she's trying to <laughs> say is... <laughs> Now, we are not ready for this I think what she's trying to say is that um, 
she doesn't necessarily have to marry somebody from the big brother house and yeah. when she comes out with the person she's with it's gonna be with a bang like mm. you guys won't be expected you never expected it hey! you know that kind of thing like, I like that I, I like that um, yeah. interpretation yeah I saw that I saw it as lately I've noticed that she has been very active on life you mm. said this one she's giving you back, back if you said that one so I feel like that's what she's she said like she's, that. Very, she's always been active Vista Blog has had an attention on her but you know that's what they for a minute no, she's I don't know how you I don't know how you say she okay you follow her because yeah. do you know I had to go search for Nina's picture because I even forgot she had a thing with Miracle mm. I forgot in Nina entirely mm. I'm wondering what happened to Nina actually because I believe um with all that buzz with she should be doing a lot better she's, she has okay so I no no I feel like that. this big brother but she, yeah. yeah I actually forgot I actually forgot Nina totally I had to go no, Google it's possible a picture for like, you to forget yeah, yeah, yeah because that's, I don't follow if her you are, if you are not in the news constantly which is why these celebrities do the whole stunts and mm -hmm. fights and all that for you people to remember that they are there mm -hmm. so that when there's a mm -hmm. meeting and aside that when, when it comes to big I feel like when it comes to this big brother fame is a seasonal thing the moment a new set is out they take over the moment we still have some that, people who are still relevant from the old house. No? That their name is in the news all the time. Yeah, hey, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, who else? Bussola. Bussola. Bussola is there. Everybody is there. See, everybody is there. We're older. Everybody is there doing their thing. Mm. Do you understand? But you can't say that the way it was when they came out of the house, that the old boss was around them. That's the same way they are. Maybe, be, maybe they are still getting. They are definitely still getting their endorsement. They are definitely still doing their thing. They have their own business. But like you rightly said, if they are not doing anything that is on, that is making the news, like -boss, headline, chairman, black bossy. So the thing is, there are showbiz is showbiz. So you mm. have to show for the business. Mm. If you relent and decide to take out time and all that, sometimes, like I, I've said it on this table, some of them have to pay blogs. To mm. actually pick on them and talk about them for a while, because that is what the business is about. You want to be able to be remembered when some people are in the boardroom and saying mm. who is going to be a brand ambassador, mm. who fits it. So you have to be in their mind for them to remember that you exist. Except you have uh, an awesome manager or an awesome PR team that goes out there to market sure you. Because most times, even the endorsement come from marketing. Mm. Someone has to go into these corporate organizations to sell and you. You were not and here when we were talking why about. Why they should have? Uh, you as I can't remember who. Who said it, that um, something about being controversial? Controversial people are the ones that get the biggest. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, Who said that? He's an artist. Uh, Orezi. Orezi, yes. Yeah. So when he said controversial, they're the most successful. Mm -hmm. And you guys were asking, what's your definition of um, successful? But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, this controversy is sell. Yeah. Because these brand ambassadors actually look forward to such things, like mm -hmm. who is making the news? Mm -hmm. We would put out a tweet right now, and people are catching up on it. Mm -hmm. Who's going to put out a post right now, and you see like thousands of likes yeah. right now? Do you understand? So I think it's all part of the showbiz, like you said. So. Nina, I think you should just be calm down. We're, we're, they're not ready. Let's just wait. 2020 is your and year. And for me, I feel we might not be seeing the people trolling her mm -hmm. about this, but you know, people are so funny Definitely. that her comment, are, her comment section at DM, people are saying, I see your life, oh, mm -hmm. see this one, oh. And at the end of the day, if everybody can, they are jumping on what's That's trending. A nice picture. Mm. But it's just wrong. She's, Please she's stop pretty. trolling people. Let people live she's their life. Pretty, yeah. If she want, when it's time for her to get, like she rightly said, she said she's just twenty three. Why are you people putting pressure on her? Mm. And I said she's twenty three. Yeah, that's what mm. she said. But in the house, she was was it twenty one or twenty two? Yeah, mm. that's what. She, yeah, mm. the house. So okay. That's an OG, OG <laughs> <laughs> That's our wrap of this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ewa Oluwa Witu and Ife Oluwa Shukaya and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and stay good. Thank you.